Come back. In this video, I will show you how to build the passwordless authentication with Express. The way it will work is that our user will not have a password. All we will need uh, would be their email. And uh, it will be, for the user, it will look uh, the same if they want to sign up or log in. They just provide the email. So uh, first I will show you the working uh, demo of this and then I will guide you through the code. So imagine user comes to our website and uh, they are not uh, having any account, but they want to sign up. So all they need to do is to provide their email and send it to us. Then uh, if it's a new user, we we'll check our DB. There is no user record for this email. We create a new record in the DB, generate our unique uh, link and send it through email to the user. So they go to their mailbox, they check the incoming email and they receive it from us. There's some template, but important thing is that there's a link with their email so we can identify that it's this user and this part with uh, just random characters and numbers generated. So user clicks the link, it sends them back to our website, we verify the link and we display the message welcome back if everything is done correctly. So these links, they are one time use. As soon as it's clicked, we will expire it in the DB and it will not be clickable again. I mean, uh, if user will click it again, it will not work. But if they click it the first time, once only, then we welcome them back and user is logged in, right? And then at the same time, we put a token into local storage so that user will not have to log in again, 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 if they browse through the content of the website, which is protected, right? So then uh, it will happen for the first time user decides to sign in, it will be registration. Then if it's the user uh, which is already registered in the database and they come in back to our website and the token is expired then uh, again we ask them for the email if they want to log in into their account they provide the email send it to us we generate a new login link uh, send it through the email and uh, again we the user clicks the link goes back to the website we verify the link and we welcome them back right so as easy as that we don't need to uh, care about passwords. We don't need to build the functionality to restore the passwords because all they need to log in or sign in is their email, right? So how does it work code-wise? Uh, quite simple, actually. So we have the backend and uh, in the main file, we connect to the DB and we have the user's route. Then uh, through the routes, we connect them to the controllers. In the controllers, for this functionality, we only have two sub-routes, enter and verify. So verify will trigger every time our app starts, checks for the token in the local storage, sends request to the backend. If there is a, a token, if there is no token, then nothing happens. Then if there is a token, then we verify token in the backend and uh, user is logged in. If token expired, then uh, nothing happens. They have to provide the email. So if they provide the email, every time I'm clicking sign in, then this route will trigger enter and we will execute controller login from our controllers. So inside controllers, we have this file uh, with uh, just three functions. First one is verify token, which is verifying the token and uh, letting user in if there is token. And another one triggers if there is no token. So this function is called login and you can receive our email and magic link. So uh, if our user is coming first time, they're not clicking any links, but they just enter email in the browser. We only receive email here. If no email, then we uh, deny. If email is not valid, we validate it with a validator package then uh, if it's not valid then we say no again but otherwise uh, we are searching for the user with provided email inside our users collection right so the scheme is really simple we only have name email magic link and magic link expired so we verify 
uh, if a user exists in our collection in the DB. If there is no user, then we execute function register and we pass email into this function. So function register takes email, creates a new object for the user with the email and magic link created by uh, UUID. You can use any other package or code mm -hmm. to generate random set of characters and numbers. And then we put this into the database. And uh, once we put it into the database, we can see that apart from name, uh, which is anonymous by default, email and magic link, uh, we also have this field magic link expired, which initially false. So every time uh, we make a new link for the user, it will be false. Once clicked, we will change it to true, so it will not be reused second time. So uh, this register is making this uh, user record inside our database and then executes a function send magic link where we pass an email and magic link from the DB and the key sign up. So this function is responsible for sending emails and this is the function, right? Um, if we pass a third argument, which is sign up, it means that we need to send a template for the new user. Otherwise, welcome back. So in this template, we're sending um, a URL, which consists of our domain name with the route to hit the functionality in the client to get the email and magic link from the URL. And then second part is email and the link, right? So it would be our domain name, then email and this part, which is unique for every user. And it goes to the email of the user. We're using node mailer package, right? So uh, then going back to our users controller, this is happening if new user has been added to the database. If the email passed, is not in the database yet, right? So this functionality, if no user inside our user collection. Um, then if it's existing user, but they are entering email to sign in, we already have them in the database, but uh, there's no magic link in the body of the request, right? Because they're not clicking the link, they enter in the email, they submit in the email. So what's happening in this case? In this case, we find the user in the collection and then we update magic link. So we generate a new part for the URL, which consists of random characters and numbers. We set the key for magic link expired to false so that it will be available for using. And then uh, we call send magic link function again. We pass an email and magic link for the user. And now uh, we're going there. Uh, no third argument is provided, so it's not sign up. We go here to the template for returning user and we generate the login link again with URL, email of the user and the link, which is this uh, part of URL generated by UUID and we send it to the user again. So then user clicks the link, right? Uh, and if they click the link, then from the client, we are sending uh, email part and uh, magic link. So now we go here inside this function and we check if magic link uh, from the browser, from the client is matching magic link in the DB and it's not expired. So it's being clicked for the first time. And then we send token to the client, which we put into the local storage and the user is authenticated. But now we set magic link expired to true. So this link will not be reusable. Right, and that's our response with a token and email, so we'll know which user is it, and a message welcome back. Right, and uh, pretty much that's it. So it's um, really simple uh, logic here. Basically, every time user gives the email, we send them the link to login. And if this link is clicked, we let user in. If this link is clicked for the second time, then we're saying that magic link is expired or incorrect. So every link can only be used once, right? And then um, that's it for functionality. And then we also have a client, which is uh, again, pretty straightforward. So in the client, we have our main file with um, verify token, first of all, inside use effect. So every time a user opens the website, we check if there is a token in local storage and then uh, if it's not, then we set 
logged in to false. Then we can use this logged in throughout the app. We can lift it up into the global state if we want to, and we can use it uh, every time users trying to access protected routes uh, like my account or something uh, which is not permitted for the guests, like maybe posting something or things like that, right? Then um, we have routes and uh, important route would be this enter email and the link, right? So th this route, as you can see, is always inside the link we send them. So every time they click the link to authenticate, they go to this route. And then uh, this route has two parameters, email and link, and uh, everything is parsed inside our enter component. So if we will go into the component enter, then we will see that what we're doing here is that we are extracting uh, from the params email and the link, and we navigate to home, okay? Inside our home, which would be our home component, here uh, we have pretty much nothing but uh, what's happening inside this enter.js is that uh, we executing our function sign in right so this function sign in uh, goes into enter component through props which means that we are passing it from here so this sign in function sits inside our main component app.js now this function takes email and magic link which was extracted in component enter from the params, right? And we pass it into this function. And uh, we take it right here. And then we send a call to our backend to users enter. And we pass email and magic link. So this route executes our function login and then we go through all this logic which i explained before we check in if email exists in the database if not then we create a new user and then uh, if it exists and uh, magic link is provided then we check if magic link is not expired and if it's matching magic link we have in the db and then uh, if everything is fine then we are send token we receive from the backend to our login function. Our login function sets the token into local storage and also sets logged in to true. So this uh, variable in state logged in becomes true and user is authenticated and token is in local storage, right? Then we also have log logout function uh, which removes token from local storage. So every time user is logged in and then logged out uh, with this button, then a token is removed from local storage. And that's it for this functionality so all the code is um, available for you to check it out and i hope it makes sense and uh, maybe you should try to use it for your project if you want to otherwise uh, you can use uh, classic password authentication as well